For the last three years, lecturers from three African wildlife schools have been working together. With the support of AWA, they are developing innovative teaching methods to improve water bird conservation. I'm from the College of African Wildlife Management, Mweka, Tanzania. I am from the College of African Wildlife Management, Mweka, Tanzania. I am from Kenya Wildlife Service Training Institute, Naifasha, Kenya. I am from Kenya Wildlife Service Training Institute, Naivasha, Kenya. At this particular time, we feel we are privileged to obtain uh, a lot of information. We feel that we have been strengthened. Ibis Felsinel. Grand Egret. Grand Egret. This is key to the young professionals because they are going to take up as pertains conservation and management of the water birds and the wetlands uh, in the world tomorrow. Sub-Saharan Africa is well known for its large mammals. Conservation strategies for these species are well known and have been implemented for decades. Birds have received much less attention. Yet, hundreds of bird species undertake spectacular migrations between Africa and Eurasia every year. Water birds are particularly threatened by habitat loss. At the same time, they are part of our natural heritage and a source of income and protein for many people. The water bird knows no boundaries. We have to have a plan to ensure their conservation across their range states. Basically, the range states are a number of countries uh, within which the migratory water bird uh, live uh, or move to. And uh, there are about 250 species of uh, migratory water bird. And the range state uh, constitute 119 countries. Out of these uh, 119 countries, 77 will have signed the agreement, which is uh, under the UN a way of bringing the countries that have signed it, including the range state, to work together in order to conserve and manage the birds. It is important to raise awareness about the threats facing migratory birds and to train future wildlife professionals. This is an urgent task if we are to conserve wetlands and their biodiversity now and in the future. La formation d'une manière générale elle est très importante, surtout au niveau de ces écoles de formation internationale. Ils forment régulièrement beaucoup d'étudiants qui viennent par vocation. Ce que nous avons voulu faire, c'est que les gens puissent être en réseau pour pouvoir échanger, se supporter mutuellement. Pour une efficacité dans la gestion de la faune et une durabilité, il faut absolument que ces gens de formation continuent pour la sauvegarde de la faune sauvage en général pour l'Afrique et les oiseaux d'eau en particulier avec leurs habitats. Uh, have you seen it, Marion? No. Come and see it. I just go to your... I'm very tall, eh? No. Oh. In French. Very beautiful. After the data has been collected, a lot of work remains. Donc les données, une fois récoltées sur le terrain, elles doivent être saisies dans un format identique pour qu'elles puissent être comparables et partagées. Donc elles sont ensuite envoyées à l'ONG Wetlands International, qui s'occupe de les gérer et de les analyser. Et ainsi, une fois partagées au niveau international, 
il est possible de faire la mise à jour sur l'estimation de la taille des populations. Et donc, un des enjeux principaux du projet ressources, c'est de se baser sur ces connaissances de terrain pour pouvoir comparer les nouvelles tailles de population avec les données de prélèvement et ainsi estimer la durabilité de, de ces prélèvements. Students need to be trained in monitoring from data collection to processing and analysis. But despite their strong international responsibilities, African wildlife institutes are still lacking equipment. La formation des professionnels au suivi des oiseaux d'eau nécessite des moyens adéquats. Le véritable défi, c'est celui des moyens, des moyens qui vraiment manquent sérieusement pour le suivi des, des oiseaux, de la biodiversité. As we know that conservation is having so many challenges and of course it calls for collaborations. So we understand that the wetlands are very important habitats for different animals and this is particularly for the water birds, especially those species which migrate from Africa to Europe and probably the migrations from within Africa. So it is important to have such kind of collaborations between or among the training institutions because we needed to share some resources. <laughs> <laughs>